Karen and Bees. How are you today? Today is an update on Lisa from Lisa Crochet's Rise Up um, blanket. Uh, basically, if you haven't seen my latest video, my video on, last video on that, I will leave that link here somewhere. Um, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet did a blanket that she called the Rise Up blanket, and it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I love that blanket and it really inspired me. I'm not a blanket person. I don't make blankets, but um, it really inspired me to try to do something like that. So thank you, Lisa. I love you. Um, so anyways, I this this doing this is in honor of Lisa uh, Lisa worked very hard on her blanket and it came out beautifully and I know her granddaughter is going to love it um, so I, I really wanted to honor Lisa um, to and and you know do do this as well um, because I really want to, how do I say that? Bring awareness? No, that's not it. I, I want people to go to Lisa's channel and, um, see the projects that she does. She's a wonderful lady. She's, I've been friends with her for quite some time since, well, from the beginning, um, of my YouTube channel. She is the reason I started my channel. Uh, so... I, I, I owe a lot of thanks to Lisa, uh, for giving me the courage to, to do this. <clears throat> so I, I've always wanted to do something with two strands together, you know, like, uh, a plain, like a white or a black with a variegated, um, color, right? And that's what she did. And it, tur it turned out so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So I, she basically, it was a kick in the pants for me to say, you know what? Okay, let's just do this. <clears throat> Cause like I say, I've, I think it was, uh, was it Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2? I'm not sure, but somebody did a a blanket that looked like stained glass. Yes, Nancy did one just recently, actually. But the, a couple of years ago, someone did one, and was it Creative Grandma? Ah, oh, I can't remember, but it was like, it looked like stained glass. It was absolutely stunning. <clears throat> so I, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, I'm really sorry. Um, so I really wanted to try it. And this seemed like the perfect opportunity. Uh, because I wanted to honor Lisa and and her her success on her blanket. So, having said that, um, one of my favorite favorite yarns now, um, as of late, has been the Sweet Roll Premier Sweet Roll Vivid. Okay. So I chose this color and this is the, it's electric. Nope. Sorry. Oh, this is lava lamp. This is the wrong one. Sorry. Hold on. Sorry about that. There, some of these colors are very similar. Um, the lava lamp and the it's electric, it very close in, in colors. So this is the one I chose. I mean, this is just like blow your mind color, right? All right. Um, now, what I found out when I started using this was this yellow is very short. There's not a lot of the yellow. Maybe in this ball if there is, but this, see how it's like right here? <laughs> That's pretty much what it looks like when you, when you do it up. It's just a splotch of yellow. And then it goes on into the other colors. And then there's a splotch of yellow. And it's like, I don't like that. 
so what I did was I color, color, color coded. No, you know, color corrected color. Oh, oh, brain. Oh, words come to me. <laughs> Anyways, I took out the yellow. Okay. Uh, I took out the yellow and I just used the rest. I'm glad I did <clears throat> because oh, this came out really cool really cool now lisa's blanket is is done with um i don't know if it's a two weight or a three weight yarn but hers came out very flowy and very just gorgeous mine is very chunky okay very chunky uh but that's okay um i can live with that uh and it i uh, it, it was hard to work with this because it's so bright, but the transition was gorgeous. Now it's not finished because um, not only did I use this, I was using Super Saver. Mm, it, it was a Super Saver. Anyway, <laughs> in black. <clears throat> I don't like Super Saver, never have, but they did change their formula and it is softer. So I thought, okay, I'll just, I had a ball of it and I went, all right, I'm going to just use it up. <clears throat> so now I'm going to switch to a different black, probably the Craft Smart Value Black or something. Oh, wait, wait, no. Maybe I'll, I'll do the Serenity Chunky or something. So then I don't have to put two together. Because I'm just going to put a black border around this. Now, you might want to put your sunglasses on because this is a little bright. <laughs> okay. And pull my chair back here. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That is just, that is so crazy to me. Oh, I just dropped my hook. Sorry. <clears throat> I mean, that's just crazy to me. Holy cow. But pretty. Oh, I really like it. I really like it. I'll show you up close. It's very busy. Okay. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's turning out really well really well um if you look at it up close you can really see the black and it's actually a bit darker than this than it's showing up in the camera but i've got a lot of light going on here so but it's um i think if i brought it back further if it's actually gonna darken up a bit yeah that's pretty close right <clears throat> so <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> uh, so I'm finished with the It's Electric. And now I'm going to do a black, a big thick, or maybe just a thinner black border around it to give it that stained glass effect. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. So, but I really like it. It's, it's different. It's so not me. But... It could be me. <laughs> um, George absolutely loves it. And he, when I, when I was doing the square and I had, and the square was like this big, he says, that needs to be a sweater. I'm like, uh, well, I'm kind of doing a blanket right now, but I might do a sweater later because <laughs> um, uh, yeah I wasn't about to stop there and and make it into a sweater especially after I said it was going to be a blanket <laughs> so but I I might just do a sweater out of it um, we'll see how it goes and if I do that then I'll, I'll do a tutorial on it but this is basically just the granny, the, the granny stitch, uh, granny, it's not a granny square. It's a, it's an, ex, 
extended granny. No, not extended granny. Continuous. That's the word I'm looking for. Continuous granny uh, blanket. So, yeah. So, I guess I will do the black border and then I will give you another update. But please, I, I, uh, please, please, please go check out Lisa's channel. Uh, she just found out she's going to be a grandma for the second time. I'm so excited for her. I just, oh, when she, I cried when she showed me that, when I, when I saw that video. Oh, very, at the very end when her granddaughter Bethany was getting in her suitcase. Um, because Lisa was coming home. Oh, I'm going to cry just thinking about it. I just, oh my heart um so yeah she's gonna be grandma for the second time congratulations lisa oh i'm so excited for her and she's actually going to the uk in june so that she can be there for the birth i am just stoked for her um she never got that chance with bethany and that just ripped my heart out but this time she's going to be there and oh, that's so exciting. That is so exciting. So yeah, so go check out her channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and do all that to, for her channel um, and support her because she is a wonderful lady. She's also Canadian. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I love you all, and I will finish this up, and then I will bring it back and show you how it, how it looks. Hers is so elegant and beautiful. Mine's like in your face, just wham. <laughs> it's like, holy cow. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye. <music>